So, how can you help me with your idea, Koki? Well, you mean I gotta make a sea urchin, and a crab, and a sawfish? Hmm, I'm counting on you. Let's get started. Well, first, I'm gonna start off with a sea urchin. Koki told me to make a small sized but thick spined one. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of sea urchins. Why? Well, you will instantly turn against it when you step on it with your bare feet. But since Koki said it will help me get out of this circle of seafood, I'll do what I can. And now with the cautious trimming around it times 22, we're done with the spines. It's true I'm scared of them, but in fact, watching sea urchins walking on the seabed is quite amusing. You should look it up too. And lastly, after making a mouth on the bottom, we're done making it. Then, we're on to making a crab. I'll begin with its 8 legs first. Based on it, it'll be a small one as well, just like the sea urchin. Well, now I can see how much of a detail this crab requires. Of all crabs, Koki said it has to be a blue crab living on the west side of a Pacific Ocean saying it's the only kind with the right type of shell she needs. Adding to that, Koki wanted pincers to be separate from its body, so I have to dig out some space just for them. And after sanding for its realistic shape of the shell, I will attach those tiny legs on the body. Moving on to pincers. To be entirely honest, I expected this. Big mighty pincers that can crush foes. But Koki insisted they have to be thin, evenly balanced. Well, for the greater good, I will have to put aside my ambition for now. And after sending, it's a simple assembly. All done. Lastly, it's a term for a sawfish. Just a quick knowledge, did you know that a sawfish and a saw shark are two different animals? Sawfish is a type of a ray, and of course saw shark is a shark. How to tell a difference? Well, saw sharks got two long whiskers on their saw, just like a catfish. And this one surely is a sawfish, as Koki wanted. When I look at the weapon-looking nose of sawfish, I mean, I can't help but wonder how amazing the nature is. I bet most of children dreamt of having sawfish that turns into a steel weapon they can wield. And after giving it a shape of sword's body, the first half is done. And now with the last half. Why with only top torso of the sawfish? Well, the silly rabbit feels scared to see the whole body of it. Trimming for the proportion of the body to the saw and the drilling a hole must be precise, since that is the key to the perfect assembly. And we surely shouldn't forget about his cute little face on the bottom. And with that, the crafting is complete. Now I have all the sea creatures, but how are they going to help me? Hmm, wait a minute. So it is a nice looking sword. And you're saying I gotta poker with it? And these animal spirits will do the rest? Oh well, I've come this far. I'll give it a shot.
Well, folks, this is Cookie's tale of crafting for today. Let's see what kind of joy she brings to us next time. And Cookie will appreciate subscribes and likes from you.